I thought, no, I love that thing about um, forgiveness. I, I had a similar experience um, in my senior year. So build up, um, you know, whole life investing in basketball. You know, the little white guy from Alaska. Come to a senior year, I have a new coach come in, and long story short, um, it just didn't go well. Mm -hmm. And I ended up, I never quit anything really in my life up until that point. Halfway through the season, I was like, I can't even do this, I'm miserable. It wasn't fun, it was like, I, wanna, I don't even wanna say it's a job, because I've been in that tract in college. I don't know if you've ever been there, where it's like, am I really enjoying this? Like, or am I just here, because it's free education, that kind of thing, and then you something happens and you get that love back. And for me, the speaking and the stuff we're doing got the love back um, for basketball for me, but I had that coach, and um, I was literally so angry and so bitter, and I had all these fantasies of like things I wanted to do with baseball bats in his car, and like all these things, like you know, I just fantasized that, and I and it was consuming me, and it it even like like that cloud that you're talking about, like I totally understand that because I had that cloud, and it was even affecting my health to a certain degree, like my my sight, um, and finally. And I give my parents and family a lot of credit for it. You know, I, I was like, I have to forget this guy and, and move on. Or I'm never gonna, I'm letting him, that person that's not in my life. Affect your life. Affect and control my life. And why would, I'm so stubborn, like, why would I let that guy have power over me? You, you know, and, um, and ego kicked a little bit. So I, um, when, when I forgave that guy, honestly, Physically, you could feel like a, a weight off your shoulders, and and then I the door opened for me to come to LA and start doing entertainment stuff, and I um, like I booked a thing for Kobe Bryant, like literally very quickly, and I know it never would have happened if I hadn't had that moment of forgiveness yeah. and was able to move on. So um, I just think that's a beautiful thing, and it's great to hear like someone else who has a similar uh, situation where you're like, yeah, I had help too. I mean, I had I had a yeah. family. You know, my aunt raised me unbelievable. Yeah. My grandparents and, um, and and I to this day I I, I pick really good friends.